Hello and welcome back to another edition of the E Show. Once again, my name is Neil Ravin, Director of PR and Social Media for the Eastern Hockey League. Joined now by Rocky Russo, the head coach of the Philadelphia Little Flyers. Thank you, Rocky, for taking the time. We're going to recap games one and two from this past week, and you kind of know how it goes. Whenever there's there's good news and bad news, we'll start with, we'll say the bad news in this situation. Uh, the bad news, game two, what went wrong, You could you say, in game two as opposed to game one? You know what? Uh, we, we didn't play well is the bottom line, and, and you get that sometimes with uh, with kids uh, at this level and at this age, to, despite what uh, what's on the on the table, you know, we, we didn't do, do a job. We, we played really well the first seven or eight minutes of the game and um, had a couple defensive breakdowns, uh, gave up a power play goal, um, had an unfortunate goal that, that should have counted, waved off in our favor. And uh, those are the breaks sometimes. So, um, you know, our, our goal going into that game was to win, win two more hockey games. And, and fortunately for us, that goal hasn't changed. So now we got to make it up with the with the good news. What went well in game one for your team? I thought we were really good in game one. I thought we played fast. I thought we played physical. Uh, we carried the the pace of play. Uh, we controlled the uh, the offensive side of the the red line for a good majority of the game. And um, you know, hats off to their goaltender for playing really really well in that game because we had uh, we had a, a good amount of opportunities that could have gone in the net. Uh, he also got some some puck luck from from the posts. We hit the the post two times and the crossbar three times in that game, um, which has been a bit of a theme for us throughout the uh, the first two games. But uh, but we were able to to find a way to score a, a power play goal in overtime and and get the big win at home. So um, you know we we turned a best of five into a best of three, and and that's going to happen when it's two good hockey teams. And you kind of took the words right out of my mouth there because of the way this schedule works out now. You guys, both teams have been off all week leading into three games this weekend and, and Friday, Sunday, and if necessary, of course, on Monday. Uh, what has the focus been all week knowing now that it's just the best of three like every other series has been so far in the playoffs? I'm sure the focus here is the exact same as as it is in uh, in Jerry's locker room. You know, our objective is to do our best to, to win game three on Friday and and put ourselves in a position to hopefully win the series on Sunday. And, um, you know, that's going to take a tremendous effort. We're glad to be back home on our own ice surface and in front of our fans. And, and we're expecting a great effort on Friday evening. And, and so now as we head in to the, we know it actually now, the final weekend of the season, what can uh, we as fans, I guess you could say, expect from this weekend ahead of us? I think you're going to see the best hockey of the year. You're going to see two teams that can, uh, can smell a championship and are going to go out of their way to do everything they can to uh, keep the puck out of their own net and, and compete as hard as they can to uh, to score some goals. Well, thank you, Rocky. Good luck in game three tonight. We'll see you down there. Thanks, Neil.